Hey, it's your girl here, Kia Simone, and I'm here to talk about love and basketball. When I tell you this used to be my favorite movie, baby, this was my favorite movie. I mean, like you see, I have it on DVD. You cannot borrow this. If you came on my house and watched it, I need to make sure you didn't leave with it. I mean, that's how serious I was about this movie. Fast forward to 2020. I'm sitting like at home one day and you know, certain channels play the same movie over and over, just like the color purple. So I'm just like not watching it, but I'm listening. Then a light bulb went off. I was like, this movie is horrible. Sorry, Gina Prince by the wood. Sorry, the writer. <sighs> so why did I say it was terrible? So I was talking to my sister. So sometimes I can be a bit much. So when I told her, I was like, yeah, you know, um, Love and Basketball is no longer my favorite movie. I don't know how we was, you know, start talking about it or whatever. And she was like, oh my gosh, probably like, okay, here you go again with the overdramatic. I hope you're not about to be overly religious. Why is that not your favorite movie anymore? Well, sis, let me tell you why this is not my favorite movie anymore. Because Quincy and Monica were not fit to be. Let's be real. Monica was chasing Quincy the whole movie. He was playing her to the left the whole movie. And then I was just like, oh my gosh, like the favorite scene that everybody loves when she gets up and she knocks on his window and she wants to say, and she says, I want to play you for your heart. And we're all like, oh my gosh, I'm so in love. Oh my. That's the part that was my favorite part when she said, oh, I just want to play you. And then they're out there playing basketball and then she loses. And we're all like, okay, what's going to happen next? And then when this song played, Music. There you go. When you heard this, you was like, oh my God, you probably cried, okay? So then, after that song, we're like, oh my gosh, is he really gonna let her just like lose? And then he goes, double or nothing. And at that point, you were in love. But why was it all, it took all of that for him to get with her? At that point, he had a bad knee, bad, you know, he had an injury. But again, the whole movie, Monica chased him from childhood to when they were in high school, to they were in college. He always had a problem. And she just always like, well, what do you need, Quincy? Oh, poor me. Listen here. Love and Basketball was not happily ever after when you seen her playing on her. She was finally playing basketball. Basketball was fun to her again. And her husband and her daughter were out there rooting her on. I'm sorry. Be mad at me if you want to. If that's still your favorite movie. I'm just stressing my opinion or stating my opinion. That's it. Love and Basketball is no longer my favorite movie. Peace.